Sea lions and fur seals are part of a group known as eared seals, and it's easy to see why they got that name. Check this out. They have external ears just like you and I. They are also some of the most curious and playful marine mammals in the ocean. That might be why some people refer to them as the dogs of the sea. There's no doggy paddle here. These guys are truly incredible swimmers. I love watching them glide through the water. Their movements are so fluid and acrobatic, which makes it hard to believe that creatures this nimble and agile can weigh up to 300 kilograms or 660 pounds, depending on the species. Most of that weight can be attributed to a thick layer of blubber that keeps them warm in the cold water while they hunt for fish. But as you can imagine, all that extra weight makes it a little harder to move around on land. But that's not gonna stop them from eating. These guys love their fish. In the wild, they spend a lot of time fishing. And believe it or not, these seals can hold their breath for up to 20 minutes at a time. To put that into perspective for you, the average human can hold their breath for about two minutes. Or in my case, about 60 seconds. While those statistics are handy to know, every seal and sea lion is different. So I'd like to get to know the sea lions here at Sea Life Sunshine Coast a little better. And I know just the right person to help us out. This is Kirsten. She has been a seal trainer at Sea Life Sunshine Coast for seven years now. And she knows these guys very well. So how many residents do you house here at Sea Life? So we actually house seven altogether, and we have four different species. So we house a couple of Australian fur seals, a couple of Australian sea lions, a subantarctic fur seal, and a couple of long-nosed fur seals as well. It's a wonderful variety you have, but I have a question. I know most trainers and keepers can't answer this, but I'm gonna <laughs> ask anyway. Do you have a favourite? We're not supposed to have a favourite, <laughs> but if I had to answer that question, I do. And her name is Bella. She's one of our female Australian fur seals. Now, why do we like Bella the most? Yeah, so she actually had a pretty rough start to life, little Bella, and it actually took her quite a number of years to recover in care. As a result, she couldn't be released, which is when she moved to our family here at Sea Life. This is probably one of the coolest jobs that we've had on San Diego Zoo Kids before. Fair. It's yeah, it's pretty cool, but what is one of your favourite parts about being a seal trainer? Yeah, so obviously I love the animals that I work with and the team as well, but I also love sharing my passion with members of the public that come through, you know. I love these animals so much and I can't think of anything better than ensuring that our guests love them as much as I do. Now you have a few things here, I'm wondering why you brought them out. <laughs> yes, I have a bit of a surprise for you, Lou. This is the best part. Now for this, you're going to need this. You're also going to need this, oh. but most importantly, you're going to need this oh. as well. <laughs> Am I? All right. I'm just kidding, you're not going to need that. Okay, but you go. will need these. <laughs> I'm going to get you to follow me this way, if that's okay. <laughs> okay, judging by the wetsuit and the mask, I'd say I'm about to get in the water with these incredible animals. And clearly, I'm very excited about it. I've spent so many years studying these creatures and even more time watching them from a distance. So to be able to get in the water with them today and be with them in their element is super special for me. Kirsten warned me it would be a little chilly and she's not wrong, but it's a small price to pay to hang out with these guys during a play session. I'm told that this is their free time and they love to play with toys. From tug of war to cat and mouse, I'm happy to oblige. They truly are some of the most playful and curious marine mammals I have ever met. <laughs>